Okay, just uh, um, uh, an intro to the uh, video that is about to play. Just wanted to say sorry for the quality of the video that you're about to watch. Uh, however, I decided to leave it on anyway because at least it can give you an idea of what the Supernova ROM looks like and how fast it is and what kind of um, uh, applications uh, that you can install and quantities, etc. So again, sorry, uh, during the video I do mention things like, uh, as you can see, when clearly you can't see what I'm talking about because the lighting is terrible, it's blurry, but it's borderline acceptable just so that you can get a gist of what Supernova ROM is like. Okay, cheers guys, thank you. Okay guys, just wanted to do a quick uh, video on um, my HT Desire phone, which uh, I'm quite happy with. I've played around with uh, lots of ROMs and... Uh, if I just uh, quickly go through the various uh, screens just to show you how I've got it set up, it's quite fast at the moment. Um, I've got some new stuff on there. Don't know how we're just coming out on this. Okay. Um, I've got the Go Launcher. Uh, on this, which is my favourite, uh, I've got the scrolling dock at the bottom there, as you can see, and uh, every every single application that you see on this has uh, double functionality. For example, if I if I click on say the, the Facebook, um, I get the Facebook application. If I do that, and it'll launch. I've recently I've recently put the uh, Avast um, um, antivirus, trying to see if that's uh, having any kind of a draining effect on my on my phone, I, I, I am quite happy with it without it, but I thought I'd give it a try as I am a fan of the Avast uh, on the PC. Um, right, so if if, and if I go on the Facebook icon and I, and I swipe upwards, it goes into my Twitter, and every single application on that scrollable uh, doc, three pages, basically has double functionality. Like for example, here I've got my Yahoo Mail. If I go upwards, I get the uh, the marketplace. Now, I've tried lots and lots of ROMs for for many months. I I got stuck on gingerbread uh, ROMs, uh, mainly uh, Ginger Villain, um, and. I stayed on Ginger Villain for quite a while. I was quite happy with the A2SD uh, application moving to the side, but it was never really enough. Um, now, this particular ROM is called the Supernova uh, ROM. And if I just go into my Titanium Backup, which I've purchased this application, is the probably the most expensive application that I've purchased at uh, five pounds, I think it was. Um, but it is really, really handy application. Uh, is this not launching? Okay. <clears throat> Checking the license. All done. Uh, as you can see, with with the Supernova ROM, uh, it's the most stable uh, HTC Sense ROM. So, although it's got the um, uh, the Go Launcher uh, on on this, uh, I can take it off and go to the uh, traditional uh, HT Sense, which is quite nice, very fast. Um, but I, I'm, I, I, I'm quite a, a bit of a fan of the scrolling dock at the bottom and the fact that I can customize it uh, much better. As you can see here, I've got in system ROM, I've got 47 megabytes left. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, um, I've got internal ROM. I've got 2 gig of internal ROM. 2 gig of which 482 megabytes are free. That shows you how many applications I've installed on this thing. And the SD card, I got 3.42 gig free as well from my 32 gig one. Uh, if I go on to uh, backup, these are all my applications, as you can see. And if I go into the menu and look at batch, just to show you how many applications I've got on this uh, running. It is a little bit laggy, but I am really sort of, uh, um, program uh, hungry. I seem to want to download every single application I can get my hands on, thinking that it might be useful someday. Uh, although I know that I'm probably never going to use them. But there you go. I've got 325 at the top there, but uh, in total there's uh, there's about 462 applications 
and this is all on the internal ROM. That means that I've got access to uh, any application. I can put widgets on my screen. I'm not limited to anything. Um, this is uh, definitely um, the best ROM that I've tried. Okay, it's a bit laggy at the moment. Um, there you go. Once it picks up, it picks up really, really fast. Uh, let's let's go into. Uh, if I scroll down um, anywhere on the screen, it gives me the. Um, the various notifications and quick settings and if I scroll up for example obviously these are all customizable you know you can do whatever you want them to do uh, I've got all my applications here they're all loading there's so many in here I mean see it loads goes on forever and uh, I'll do a quick uh, speed uh, test on the quadrant just to see what kind of speeds I'm getting at the moment I haven't done one of these for a while so I'll do this live and see what I get I've tried uh, the uh, my UI ROMs I've tried um, cyanogen uh, on this uh, HTC desire but they always um, limit me on the amount of uh, applications that I can uh, put on, uh, as not everything is movable to SD um, to the SD card, the A to SD. So this one here, and I've, I've tried the uh, the various the, the various um, my UI ones um, uh, with the same result. I've always come back to this Supernova one, which is uh, definitely my favourite. Right, let's wait for that to uh, finish off search a file on my computer in the meantime okay you know yes I do there you go a pretty good score and if you can see that it's one five two seven so and it does it does feel quite snappy uh, you know I appreciate it's got some lag sometimes uh, but it is really, really snappy. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's brilliant. And go into the second application on there you can see my uh, clockwork mod recovery 5.02.0 5 5.0.2.0 .0, .0, should I say with the ROM manager v4.8.1.4 which is the late, latest one and uh, it's good because you can back up your ROMs as you, as you may know uh, manage and restore backups I've got one supernova backup from a couple of days ago and this file here is 2 gig but literally occasionally I do try other ROMs uh, and I just end up going back to the latest supernova that I have on there because I've got all the applications that I could ever want to put on here if I just uh, show you if I click on on here and go on plugins I want to lock the screen Go back. Widgets. I think Avast may be slowing it down a little bit, but over 1500 on that uh, quadrant, uh, I think it's, it's pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. Um, okay, that's gone to the other page, uh, but as you can see here, there's loads of widgets. You know, um, I expect it to give me a bit of lag and a bit of grief now and again because the amount of stuff I've got on this, you know, it's just surprising it's actually working. Okay, that's it. I hope that's helped uh, anyone thinking about trying the Supernova ROM. Um, if I can quickly um, 
find the uh, page I showed you and I'll add it into the description. One second. Okay, this is the uh, the page. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not, but I'll, I'll put a, a link in the, uh, in the description of this video. Okay, cheers guys. Bye.